I just say in clinical practice it's more a theoretical risk than an actual risk because with the uh, ramp up scheme so you start with, with a very low dose uh, 20 milligrams daily of venetoclax and then progressively increase uh, um, to the standard dose of 400 milligrams daily um, the risk of uh, tumor lysis syndrome uh, is very low and I actually never experienced in my clinic uh, practice uh, a tumor lysis syndrome related to venetoclax administration. So what we should do uh, to uh, um, prevent the risk of TLS um, is to uh, hydrate the patients and based uh, on the risk of TLS we can choose oral hydration or IV hydration. Uh, we should frequently check the lab test every week for the first two or three doses uh, in order to identify potential laboratory abnormalities like increased uh, potassium levels uh, or low calcium levels, uh, increased creatinine levels, uh, and we can uh, um, intervene before they are becoming uh, uh, relevant uh, 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 signs of, or symptoms of, of TLS. So in this way, by checking and uh, implementing uh, um, prevention strategies, including also um, the administration of uh, hypouricemic agents in order to decrease uh, uh, uric acid levels. Uh, uh, I dare say the uh, venetoclax ramp up uh, uh, phase can be easily managed and we are generally doing that even for high risk patient uh, in the outpatient setting by just checking frequently the lab test and hydrating the patients.